Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of Dismantle, a zombie survival game. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough of Dismantle. Uh, quick reminder, X number of thing videos in, this, we may not do a full playthrough. Uh, we're just killing time till Warhammer 3 is dropped and released. We have Maniac Mansion, which we're going to do. However... I've been, again, the grinding in this game actually pretty well balanced. It's not that bad. I have a number of things to do. I also have been doing some exploring and some experimenting. Um, I want to sh- uh, I don't know if I can show off what I learned about the fishing. Um, so we're going to have to take this in steps. I have discovered a couple of new side quests. So there's a side quest here. I uh, hacked a loudspeaker here, so I think now we can do that po potentially seven turrets. I feel like that's a good number. Um, I, I know there's that side. I thought there was another one I discovered. Uh, I found the Easter en eastern entrance into King, the western entrance... Oh, Eastern, Western. Don't know how to get there. I found another tomb. Like I said, I've just been running around exploring. There's a side quest here. We've got our mansion quest over here-ish? Somewhere here. So we're going to try to do all those. But first things first, like I said, I've been doing some farming. And like I said, the grinding isn't that bad. Like, between recording sessions, I've played maybe an hour or two. And I feel like I've gotten enough to do most of the arc uh, for what we have to do. That's boring. So we're going to go ahead here. We'll actually, uh, we'll keep that on. I think all we need is the winter coat. If it gets colder, I'll deal with it. Uh, I did do some mob killing out here and that sort of thing. Like, I've got some extra mana. So there is more mana beads than I thought there were, but not enough. Again, and I still don't know what this is. I think I've got enough to deal with this. I don't know if I have enough to deal with anything else. Um, this game is, and again, I got this from research, is roughly, we'll say, 95% done. I might be lowballing it, and I apologize. But they've got all the main stuff in. Um, and from my research, I can tell they want to do things like... Like, I've been experimenting with uh, the animals, the deer. Uh, you can tame them. What does that do? I don't know. But they stated in a post in 2020... Or 2021, was like early 2021, when we're still in early access. That they would like you to be able to tame deer... deer bring them back to a farmstead, and boom, they would slowly generate over time because you're breeding the deer. That never obviously made it into the game before release. So there's that. They said they would like the ability for bushes and plants and trees to grow back. I don't... It's hard to tell whether that made it into release. They said they wanted the ability for fishing spots to respawn. Again, this was in early access. That never made it into release. But there is enough here for, like I said, 20 bucks. The game's worth it. And fun and enjoyable. And there's something about being able to wreck everything. Yeah, all we have left is carrots. And we have 559 stores. Let's go ahead. Get that done. With. Oh, and taters. Do I have enough taters? Yes, I only need 70. This collection is now. 100% complete. The arc is now 15% complete. Please move forward to the next collection. 15%. Does that unlock two of them? Or one of them? Is As my question. As our numbers rapidly multiplied, so did our needs beyond just nourishing ourselves. We scoured the earth of materials. We built homes. Towns. The samples in this collection are building blocks of our civilization. Now we 
deposit them so the next generation has a chance. Might have a chance to do this. Yeah, so we've got enough to do samples this. Samples deposited. 30 samples deposited. So I'm going to go ahead. 17. This collection is now 17% complete. Oh, yeah, we've got more than enough to do deposited. this. 30 samples deposited. This collection is now 40 Oh, and we leveled complete. up. Uh, 400 of a thousand. Yeah, we can do that. Deposited. 30 samples deposited. This collection is now 57% complete. Okay, this is the rough one. 10 of 32. So we can't do the wood. We can't open this. All right. Okay. So it looks like you can only open them one at a time. So I need more wood and more lumber. Easy enough to get both of those, actually. Uh, we're gonna leave the lumber alone. Now, the question is for gathering. Have we finished this one? Do I have a hundred mushrooms? I do. I'll Ten go ahead and toss those deposited. in. 30. This collection is now 17% complete. 80. I've got 90. Ten. Yep. Toss samples those in. Deposited. 30. This collection is now 31% complete. Don't have enough to do that. Don't have enough to do that. Don't have enough to do that. You have Ten enough to do samples. this. This collection is now 39% complete. Have plenty Ten to do samples this. Deposit. This collection is now 51% complete. Alright, so we have to open them one at a time. I will do this on my own time. We're good to go. So this is the best we're going to do. I'd rather 50. I'd rather the cooking. So that's the best we're going to do there. So good to know. Finish the art. Sure. Excuse me. Oh! Right, animal defense. So animals that are following you fight by your side. That's neat. I think I'm going to take the fish. I don't care about the... Well, let's grab the fishing speed. And I forgot to cook. I apologize. Let us cook. So, fish balls. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So, more strafing speed. Bacon mushrooms. One, two, three, four. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Faster fishing speed. Super quick now. Mushroom omelet. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More strafing speed. Mushroom skillet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. More hit points. Done. Uh, done. Plenty of carrots. Hmm. I need more carrots. I've got plenty of tomatoes. I need to focus on my carrots. Uh, corn on the cob is iffy. The rest, I'm not sure I want to do, but we'll see. Uh, as far as gear, so I've leveled up twice. So, um, I, I find this is a pretty good setup. Uh, you know, change out the headgear and the outfit is needed. But the stun chance wasn't worth it. I'd rather have the damage. This is worth it. The camo's worth it. The search is worth it. This one, you can trade out to whatever you need as needed. Still not quite sure how the watches work. Uh, the other thing we need to do is invent and craft is a rift toolkit. It allows opening and entering mana roofs. Okay. Not sure what that does for us, but I guess we'll find out. I do need to upgrade the bandolier, but I think I need a, uh, aluminum. Yeah. I need aluminum to do that. So, we're gonna let that sit. Um, wood I can get from plenty of resources on my own. I don't, I'm not too worried about that. So, I feel like The first mana rift we want to do, right? Because that's what we're going to go do now. 
get my grenades up and running. Is the one in Solar. Can't get up the outfit. Uh, just helmets. And we're good there for now. And get my sledgehammer. Right, isn't there a mana rift? Here. Because it's right there. And I feel like if that's the one you're going to do, start with. And I believe it takes one. Oh, and we want to get in here as well. Okay. So let's get in here. Oh, we haven't been in here at all. Alright, so we're going to do a little... Sort of. Oh, I didn't see you. Right. Well... You open this door. Grab what we can. Oh boy, I left some supplies back here. Ooh, and some searching and all right. Grab what we can. Or lettuce. Not that we use lettuce. Okay. I feel like the extra damage pays off more than anything else. Don't just hang in there. So, do more than just hang in there, I think that's what they're trying to say. Can we bust this door? Yes, we can. Fully bust this open. Alright, I guess I need to bust this one too? That's a little weird. Here, this one. Trigger all of that. Yep. Thank you. Now we've got a quick way in. Nothing to search there. Oh no. You're dead. Oh. Can you? Thank you. Oh, we got the stun. Nice. Take the hit. I don't care. Grab the gear. See, lots of resources here. So, you essentially... There are more than enough resources to finish the game. As far as... Human... Creating the go. fourth mana effect. As you know, we cannot disclose the fourth effect, but we should not ignore and forget it. You should keep your distance to mana and only allow trained professionals handle it. Huh. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I wonder what the fourth effect is, right? They went over time manipulation, energy creation, uh, and matter conversion, essentially. Looks like we're gonna have to bust the beds. Locker, take the food. Oh, can't search you. I suppose there's a few ways to do this. Um, you become an axe. Actually, here, you become blueprints. Browse. Defensive. Oh no! Come and get me! Oh. 
Well, that was my fault. Okay. Interesting. No, stop that. There we go. Get our iron back and our central processors. Oh, yeah, I can build like seven of these now, so we can really just start raiding shelters and that sort of thing quite easily. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I'll take that. I meant to do a power swing, but all good. Yo. We are headed... Here? I believe we can clear out... I am keeping an eye out for a little red laser. In case I meant, like, look at all these materials we can just snag. In case there's a turret I didn't clear out or something. Yeah. More damage, always better. Alright, we're just gonna right it took I think it was taking one. I think we have a Yeah, even if I bust this open, that's not a like eventually it might be a faster way there, but for right now it is not. Um, fastest way there is to run all the way around. Like, I can strip this entire base. Can we read this? Yeah. All its materials pretty damn easily. I'm gonna rest. My modifier. When did I want this one? Oh, that slows things down. Just speed things up? Yeah, I'm still not sure exactly how it works. Drop this off. Rest. So we have our full... Uh, return to sender things. Like, it speeds me up, but I think it speeds everyone else up, too. I think it would be cool if it only sped you up. Don't care did read that, I believe. Open. So what does this do? Cool. Takes me to a random spot on the map? Yeah, see, it speeds up. Okay. It speeds everything on the map up. This slows everything in the game down. Not really worth it yet. Like, if it was just me, like, if this just sped me up, but kept the enemies at 0% speed, Great. If this just slowed enemies down, but kept me at normal speed, also good. Otherwise, kind of gimmicky and useless, I feel. There's a boat. Which we can do nothing with. Can I chop it up? No. Okay, not sure why I'm up here. Okay, so now it's just... Alright, let's chop this tree down.
Oh, this got me in... Oh, where the fuck am I? Hold on. Yeah, but I could get here anyways. And we've read all of this. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Unless the portal portals. Unless they bring you somewhere to get more mana. Not worth it. Like Great. So, but I guess now that's permanently open. So now I can get up. I don't even know where the fuck that was. Ah, so now I can get up here when I want to. Yay. Why would I want to go up there? Did I read this? Yes. So... Yeah, for 75 mana, I'm not sure that's worth it. Because again, mana is a extreme, as far as I can tell, an extremely limited resource. Hmm. Not so sure I want to do the portals. Unless I start getting more mana than I know what to do with. Like, I'm like, oh my god, I've got, I don't know, 3k mana in stash. Let me use some of it sort of thing. Otherwise, it's just like, I no, I need to, uh, I would rather upgrade things, I guess? I don't think that was worth it. Alright, so that's that. The other thing I want to do... Travel to Capernaum. Because I cleared out them all the monsters here again. So we're going to install another Ascension thing. Transmitters. Yep, we're going to install. So this one takes 20. Okay. So unless they start dropping double mana, so that's 47, so we'll only get 27 mana. Now it drops 3 clock. Guys, that's really not worth it either. They can drop double mana. I mean, we'll, we'll do some experimenting. And I assume if I don't get a sneak attack... Yeah. They're not hitting any harder, they just have more hit points. Mostly. Clear out all of this. So now they're dropping three common items. You've, you've got to make the rewards worth spending the resources. So we just spent 20 mana, right, to get some extra, like, some extra basic resources. Okay, well, again, at least for right now, mana is an incredibly limited resource. As of right now, not sure it's worth it. Okay, we're just gonna clear out the monsters here real quick. 
Eat, 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 eat. Drop this off. Go ahead and rest because they're not coming back, so I don't care. Sorry. I mean, I guess triple the common resources is nice. But I'm not sure it's worth 20 mana. I suppose it, it comes down to what the final one's going to be worth. It's going to take 40 mana? It's going to take 25 mana or 30, right? We want 5 to 20. Which kind of implies... The final one might take... 200. Oh. I would assume it's not going to be five times. Right. right, it was five, five, five and forty. That's an eight times difference. So if I have to spend like a hundred mana, not worth it. Almost everything. You. Okay. Oh, did we, uh... Oh, no. Here. You. I think that's it for in here. You. That just leaves eight. Yeah, so that means there's like one here, three here, one here, one here, one here. So we're good. Can we actually see? Thirty. Unless they start dropping double mana for essential si ascension signal plus three, I'm not sure it's worth it. Right, it was five twenty thirty or something like that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and experiment with that right now. So we'll drop this off. Go ahead and rest. Uh, actually, we'll also experiment with this. A uh, few scan monsters real quick. Yeah, one in each corner, essentially. So let's go ahead. That's a net gain. That would be a net gain of 17.
like other areas that might be worth it, right? Areas with like a hundred plus monsters, you're still making 80, 90, sorry, you know, mana per thing. But it's still, it's like, it's like, I, I great, but the, the diminishing returns are kind of so harsh that, I'm not sure it's even worth it there. I mean, you kind of have to. Hold on. My... Cross... Oh, I think I can show it off here real quick. So, I discovered... That with fishing... You gonna get a fish? Okay, no, I already fished here. Um, did I fish here? Oh, I do need eggs. Oh, okay, yeah, that I don't want to risk. And if I kill these, because I installed a, a kill switch in this zone. They'll stop spawning. Alright, real quick. Let's head north. Like I said, there's something I want to show off, and I'll go ahead. You. We're gonna clear out a path here real quick. Do you need mushrooms? I think. So if I fish, there we go. Is it going to trigger? I learned. Oh, actually, the other thing I need to do then is this. Alright, so look. Watch. I'm not touching the mouse. Boom! It's automatic! So, that made fishing significantly easier. And as you can see, with all the upgrades, with the lure, significantly quicker. But, like I said, they want the ability for spots to respawn never made it into the game. Um, they want the ability for deer for you to breed them so you have a steady source never made it into the final game. At least not at the time of recording this. I hope they end up adding to it, but I get the feeling they hit a point where they're like, alright, we have a choice. We either put the game out, or, it, or we start, you know, like, we need money. And, for, like I said, for 20 bucks? <laughs> Go ahead, give this game a shot. It, it's fun. You know, you can see if you can beat my time, or do things differently, or that sort of thing. Where am I going? I wanted to go somewhere. I don't remember where. Showed the fishing. Right, 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 right. Sorry, we, we were headed to here. I got sidetracked. I apologize.
<laughs> Zombie. Out. Yeah, it's out like this, I believe. Hold on. I actually don't care. Like, I'll break all this down when I get a chance. You. I mean, I guess it's a good source of this stuff, but again, like, unless Ascension 3 starts producing double mana beads, even at its best, I'm not sure, I'll take care of this in my own time, I'm not sure how worth it it actually is to ascend an area. I mean, what is it, 5 20, 30? I guess here, because it's a small area, maybe not as worth it. But an area with like a hundred plus, it'd be worth it, I guess. Okay. I think he bugged out. Alright, killed them all. So that made us a net profit of 20. They were, would start with 67, 69, 68. So that was a net profit of 48. Eh. Alright. So we will ascend one more time, see what they drop there. Sorry, 48. So at 20, it's a net profit of 21. The first one's a net profit of 35, 33. Sorry, 40. This one's going to be a net profit of 18. Maybe. Okay. Transmitters. Can't go any higher. What are you gonna drop? Yeah, I... I don't think that's worth it. If at the highest set ascension it dropped four of whatever materials it has and two mana beads, it would be better. But the fact that we're only making, like, great, we're getting four common materials, which I guess we do need. And it's not that much tougher. Um, just out of curiosity, because in case I die here, hold on. How much are you hitting? Oh no! Yeah. So they don't hit harder. They just have more hit points. Maybe. Or maybe it's not working the way they want it to. Because I'm still essentially one-shotting a lot of these. Okay, so we did the experiment. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe it's not. I'll leave that up for you to decide. I mean, that's the thing, right? Fast travel. Canaveral. Like here, right? 
Sorry, 10, 20, 30. So here, first ascension signal, that's a net positive 70, then 60, then 50. That's 180. Okay. Ton of material, not the worst, but... At 75 mana beads for one mana chunk? Again, I'm not sure that's worth it. That, because that is a lot of mana beads for one mana chunk. Um... Alright, we're gonna let that tick. Um, brought this down to 300. Let those tick. I mean, I guess if you want 100% everything, maybe. But is it... It's... The gains have to be worth the material spent. At least for portals and Ascension, I'm not sure. Again, if it were like, alright, Ascension 1, 2 of materials they drop. Ascension 2, 3 materials they drop. Ascension 3, 2 mana bead, 4 materials, worth it. But, to get there, eh, iffy. Are we only missing two here? Alright, I'll get those in my own time. The next thing we want to do is... Hold on. Map. Is trigger... Um... Do I do some shelters? Oh, I never kicked this down. Um, from, hold on, which? Right, it's from this angle. So I need to kick this down from going through here. So if I go right and then up, that should kick it down. Let's go ahead and do this shelter loudspeaker, I think. So fast travel to the Everglades. I mean, there's 319 here. So here it's kind of worth it, right? Because you... Okay. You can make one... Almost 250 every time. But the other smaller areas, maybe not. Oh, maybe not so much. Could be interesting when I do bother. To I don't know if it's percentage or how that works. All right, so we're running in this direction up and to the right. Well, we can check here, right? Yeah, so I kicked it down from the wooden struts. Got you. But like Canaveral and Capernaum, I don't think it's worth it. Don't bother to ascend them. Some of the other areas maybe. But again, you don't want to do every area. Because if I do that here, all of a sudden... Monsters and deer are not responding. And deer are supposed to respawn, according to the devs themselves, separate of whether the monsters are responding. So... 
until they get that fixed. But at the same time, there's 300 monsters here. I, there is more mana here than I give credit for. You? So there is that. Alright, and we're headed this direction. Hi, dear. Nope, gotta be an axe. Alright, we're gonna switch to the axe. All right, we're gonna clear this out. We're gonna clear a path here. We're gonna leave the deer alone. No, no stop that. Leave the deer alone. And we're not gonna make them fight for us either. That should be weird. Although petting them does heal them, which is which is nice. Clear out a back band here. Okay, so we can build quite a few. We're gonna clear out a zone here. Leave the deer alone. Alright, so I assume they're going to come down these two paths. Um, and we'll clear this out too. So. Axe, please. I must ask you a question. Aha! All right. uh, I promise I'll stop saying that. Okay. So we can make... We don't need the axe. We might need the gun. I want to test this out. So, inventory. Uh, this... Yeah, I guess if I get hit, that works. Strafing speed. Triple hit damage. Isn't there one for... I don't think not back was affected. Sure. And we're not searching, so if we do crit, we do hit for a shit ton. So. Um, I think we're good there. Yeah, we can build... We can literally build ten of these. We only get seven, so... One there. One there. One there. So there's four there. And then I think we want three up front. That is going to be one hell of a dead deer. I'm just saying. Right? One here. One here. One here. There we go. Back to the axe. Uh, sorry, this. And I want to see if they're affected by the monster lore. Sorry. Go ahead and activate this. Three waves. You know. Like... 
No, doesn't look like it. But... They can be stuck. Don't need to reload. Okay, no reloads. If I need to reload... Alright, so you get reloaded. No reloads here. There's a reload. Sorry, dear. Nope, not yet. Load. Stop! Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.